Take a twisted trip through a strange clay animated world. Born into a land that may never have existed, Clayman explores a land of terrifying creatures, extraordinary machines, and mysterious artifacts in a wild and witty plot to defeat a nasty foe. chock full of mind-wrenching puzzles and an onslaught of oddball humor. And featuring total immersion. No need to keep track of maps, scores, or inventory. Embark on a clay adventure that breaks the mold. The Neverhood. A joint venture of Microsoft and DreamWorks SKG. If you were to take the collective genius of the biggest names in music, film, and high technology and roll it up into a big ball, you would have, well, this. Meet Clayman. He is the first offspring of DreamWorks Interactive. DWI, as it's called, is the joint venture between Microsoft and DreamWorks SKG. Steven Spielberg, Jeffrey Katzenberg, David Geffen, and Bill Gates joined forces to produce interactive entertainment software. The significance is, you know, basically you've got these big names, and especially with Spielberg, uh, you have the, the talent pool that he brings with him. The Neverhood is DreamWorks Interactive's first release. While everyone else is using 3D graphics, special effects, weaponry, and blood and guts, DWI is using clay. Which casts real shadows, has real highlights, has real fingerprints on it, and real bounce lights, and kind of has more of a believable effect. Um, people keep saying that they believe that they're in the Neverhood when they play the game. They believe that they are Clayman, because the character he is real, just his movements are fake. Doug Tenaple created the Neverhood. He used three and a half tons of clay to create a world of odd creatures, dark passageways, man-eating plants, and Clayman. Clayman, the unlikely hero who you, as the game player, help to defeat the evil foe and restore benevolence to the Neverhood. Steven Spielberg says he's thrilled with how the game turned out. The Neverhood is a wonderful adventure, but it's also a zany adventure. It's, it's it's, it's filled with humor and, and, and sight gags. It's, it's just great. If initial reviews of The Neverhood are any indication of how well the game will do, DWI's first release could blow away its competition. In Los Angeles, this is David Winter reporting.
What? I know what you're thinking, and you can forget it. Huh? What's that? Sleep so long. Who woke me? What is your name? Clayman. Clayman. Mm, yes, of course. Well, stand up, friend. You saved this world, then. Die, you old fool! No, I never really understood that guy. Play on the metal skeleton. Well, clay is something that kids can do for one thing, so they can identify with it. Because they actually own clay, they play with it, they make snowmen and monsters and all sorts of things out of it, and dinosaurs, and they understand how clay works. So there's much more that aesthetic distance is cut way down when a kid looks at claymation in an interactive game, because it reminds that child that they could also be doing that themselves. Uh, the Neverhood is a wonderful adventure, but it's also a zany adventure. It's, 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 it's filled with humor and, and, and sight gags. And it's, it's just great. You know, um, they're good titles and they're good product and they're the kind of things that I would go out and buy for my own children. And all I wanted to do with DreamWorks Interactive was to be able to bring something home to my kids that they would like. The neighborhood exists in black space. It is a neighborhood that may never exist, thus the neighborhood, uh, based on the moral decisions of the player who plays a character named Clayman. We decided to do real 3D using clay, which casts real shadows, has real highlights, has real fingerprints on it and real bounce lights and kind of has more of a believable effect. Um, 
people keep saying that they believe that they're in the neighborhood when they play the game. They believe that they are claiming because the character, he is real. Just his movements are fake. The Neverhood uses over three and a half tons of clay. There's 50,000 frames of animation in this whole thing. We shot the whole thing in one year with five animators. Um, it is the most extensive use of clay and puppet animation ever to hit a video game to date. We may beat ourselves someday, but it won't be this year. When you, you're taking real photographs of, you know, actual physical, dimensional uh, media like clay, then it, it lends a whole new character to it. And, and it's something that, even though it's completely otherworldly, uh, people can relate to it more than a, a sterile, uh, you know, flat world that is created by computer graphics. The Neverhood. I put the disc in, you know, thinking, oh, this is kind of cute, and, and the, the intro was good enough. And I started playing it, and, uh, you know, it seemed quirky at first, and uh, I didn't put it down. I played it eight and a half hours straight. <laughs> I played the entire game in one sitting. So, uh, you tell me. I mean, I loved it. It was really a fun game. The significance is, you know, basically you've got these big names and especially with Spielberg, uh, you have the, the talent pool that he brings with him.